have allowed them to be with us. Through the pain, that funeral service making a point to not only remember, but celebrate Glenn, Reese, Evan, and Aria. We frustrated Glenn and Tia because we would let Reese dig into the birthday cakes even before they were sliced. We also saw such support for that mother, Tia, who survived the tragedy but lost her husband, children, and five other family members all at once. Rich and I joins us now from Grace Apostolic Church where so many wrapped their arms around Tia in this difficult time and spoke of her great strength. Rich? Yeah, John, obviously this was a funeral today, but it was so much more than that. A father, three children, their services today, and a mother who lost her husband and three children. Certainly there was crying, there was sorrow, and there was tears. But there was also praise. Look at this. The choir from Agape Apostolic Faith led the family and led the congregation in a deep time of praise and celebration. And there was clapping. There was Tia brought to her feet herself in celebration and praise in the middle of this service. And even her own family members, spontaneous dancing and praise in the aisles during this service. There was a, a strong gospel message delivered today that this family wanted to make sure was heard loud and clear. And we were allowed to show some of these personal pictures, not to show grief, but to show how faith and song and prayer has carried Tia through. When I see her, I see a woman of courage. Amen. I don't know how other than God, I'm I, other than God, every interview, every interview, I see nothing but courage. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. Hallelujah. God shall help her, and that right early. Today, we have not lost. Only heaven has gained. We have not lost anything. You don't lose something when you know where it's at. And this family believes they know where Glenn and nine-year-old Reese, seven-year-old Evan, and 16-month-old area are tonight. And of course, Tia survives, but she has another funeral to, uh, tomorrow with five more members of this extended family lost in this tragedy. John? Yeah, unimaginable, unimaginable how difficult this time is for that family. Thank you, Rich. Well, the celebration of the Coleman family continued outside the church. Rich Van Wyke was there as loved ones and everyone attending released balloons. And Rich, boy, there sure is a lot of support for this family right now. A tremendous amount of support, John. But first of all, let's talk about this worship service, this funeral today. This was filled to capacity. People filled the sanctuary. They were standing in doorways and hallways trying to participate in this funeral. The people here today, friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, dignitaries, teachers, and complete strangers, all here to embrace the Coleman family and celebrating the lives of four loved ones. This was a celebration, as one speaker said, of precious lives. The choir sang, I got a feeling everything going to be all right. Prosecutor Terry Curry told everyone, we're in a family, and in that family, he saw a glimmer of hope. Tia Coleman, who lost her husband and three children, was referred to as a woman of great strength and courage. Now, as the funeral ended, just before the procession to the cemetery began, those hundreds of people filed outside, waiting for them balloons. They all together waited and let go hundreds of those balloons, filling the sky for a few seconds. Attached to each one of them was a card with pictures of Glenn, Reese, Evan, and Aria with the words, let's go play, Daddy. It was for many here an end to what was an emotional morning and afternoon. It told the family how much we loved them how much God is love and how much God's strength is the only thing that really sustains us through anything that we need I, I think to come together for the Coleman family and to not take life for granted 
many of the people I talked to today said even they didn't know even if they didn't know the family closely John they wanted to be here they wanted to be the part of the people sending a message that this family is loved and supported all right thank you rich van white reporting tonight and as we said this is such a hard week for this family many of the people in this procession from the funeral today will be involved in another one tomorrow that service is for the other five family members killed in this tragedy the viewing for Irvin, Horace, Belinda, Angela, and Maxwell Coleman begins at 8 a.m. at the Eastern Star Church. Their funerals will start at noon, and we will show you how they are honored tomorrow night here on Eyewitness News.